expressed as a single logarithm with a coefficient of 1. 3 times log base 5 of x minus 4 times log base 5 of y. Now the first thing we want to do is to get rid of these coefficients and the way we do that is by recalling the, pro the exponent rule for logs that says that if you have a log base b of some value x to the n what you can do is pull that exponent out so this will become n times log base b of x and now notice that both of these guys are of this form right where in the first term n is equal to 3 and in the second n is equal to 4 so what we can do is rewrite these in the origin in the first form right this log base b of x to the n form so what this is going to become once we pull these coefficients back to become exponents is log base 5 of x cubed minus oops, log base 5 of y to the fourth power. So then the next rule we can use is actually the quotient rule because remember that the quotient rule says that log base b of a quotient is equal to the difference of the log. So this is going to be log base b of x minus log base b of y, which is what we, it looks like what we have, right? So what we can do is rewrite this x cubed as x cubed over y to the fourth, as the quotient in other words. So this will con contract to log base 5 of x cubed over y to the fourth. And so now we've written our expression in terms of just one log that has a, a coefficient of positive 1. So we're done.